Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be reacting to I started playing Pokemon Go by Domix. I'm not sure what to expect. I've seen a couple of his other videos though. He's a really, really good content creator. So of course, show the original video some love. It will be linked in the description down below. But if you are excited for this video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 300 likes. Make sure to leave a comment as well. What else would you love me to react to and subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. Okay, so here we are. It's eight minutes long. Um, let's just jump into it. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I love the the, uh, the art and animation this guy does. It's really, really good. Um, but anyway, let's jump into it. Hey, look. There's an audible over there. And what? Whoa. Are they rare? I hear it only appears once every other month. Oh man, it ran away. Wait, it's I don't... okay. We can just go to Audible. Oh, he's a sponsor. Okay, fair play, fair play. Okay. The Audible. Nice. Sponsor little videos. Good start. Right, Pokemon <clears> Go. <throat> I've been playing too much Pokemon Go lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that there's this revival of Minecraft, and everyone's back to playing Minecraft. I mean, this was uploaded. In <laughs> That's a great picture to pause it on. Uh, this was uploaded in 2019. Obviously, the massive Pokemon Go craze was 2016. I know, like, loads and loads of people still play it right now. But, like, everybody was playing it in 2016. So, I don't know if he actually just started playing it in 2019. I'm sure he'll explain in the video. Well, I'm playing Pokemon Go at 1 in the morning on a weekday because I know normal people are in bed by that time. Wait, what? And can't. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Oh, is he doing the battle? Oh, catch. I was just wondering why that Machamp was just beating the hell out of that. I think it's a Jigglypuff. No, it's a Chansey, I think. Defender I don't even Jins. know. For those of you unfamiliar with Pokemon Go, which is probably not a lot of you, because mm -hmm. it was huge a couple of years ago, and I'd say it's still pretty big now, but not as intense as it was when it first came out. In its initial release, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was pretty lame. Fair it didn't play? seem like there was much to do. Okay. And I know a lot of you agree because you probably played it. <laughs> What's that guy doing in the bottom left, man? Looking like a zombie out of thriller. For a few weeks or a few months with your crazy mystic pride, mm. and then you dropped it within a year. But Fair it was play? understandable. They only had the original 150 Pokemon at first. Mm -hmm. I heard gym battles were pretty unbalanced, and they didn't even have raids <laughs> until like a year. <laughs> Butterfree in the bottom left. Why are they? Why are they destroying you too so Later. much? I never bothered with it. Plus, I didn't have a good data plan, and I wasn't about to upgrade just to play a game I wasn't honestly, interested in. Honestly, that's like so legit. I remember when Pokemon Go first came out in 2016. I think I had like two gigabytes of data, and it would just go like that. And I literally, I could only play it for the first like few days that I got like my data back because then it was just all gone, and it was so bad, and I had to upgrade. I upgraded like because of Pokemon Go. Um, but yeah, god, the first couple of months I started playing Pokemon Go was hell for me because I could just not play because the game just wouldn't like it would just take up too much data. Well, now I'm on that unlimited. Yeah, you so are. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to try it out for the first time. Mm -hmm. I figured it would get me out of the house more and make the best of the weather before winter comes. Which in Canada. Is that a Jon Snow impression? <laughs> Is that... The house more and make the best of the weather before winter comes. <laughs> oh, no, I, don't, I don't know if that was a Jon Snow or a. I don't know. I Canada, don't know. You didn't I don't know. know. Starts in October. Mm. So I downloaded it and was instantly hooked. <laughs> I've been going outside every day, exploring nearby neighborhoods. I've discovered parts of my city I didn't know existed because I never had a reason to go to those areas. Fair play. It's even brought me back to areas of my childhood. Look, that's where I took swimming lessons and where that kid taught me the Pokemon glitch. <laughs> I understand what I am. <laughs> I'm a gamer at heart. I don't mm. like going out for runs just because it'll make me healthier. <laughs> but if it means being able to hatch these eggs for rare Pokemon, then hallelujah, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I don't know. I just find it difficult to do things or go to places unless there's a real purpose or unless it's a game. Hey, you want to go for a walk and get some air? Mm, nah, I'm good. Mm. Kind of tired, and I'll just be a buffet for the mosquitoes. I'll pass. Mosquito. Is it the one by the library or the <laughs> clock tower? Did you just say library? Clock tower. All right, let's go, go, go. <laughs> it's like he's about to send them all into fighting a war or something. Library. 
I told my friends that I started playing and was pleased to find out that nearly everyone has played before. Yeah. So I convinced everyone to start playing again. And Pogo is definitely <laughs> more fun when you roll out with a squad. It is. It's actually I don't have scary. that luxury, unfortunately, but it, I'm sure it is. Sometimes. I stopped by a park one time on the way home just to roll the gym, and there was a Raikou raid happening. Right. A legendary Pokemon. Obviously, I couldn't solo it, but I thought, hmm, I wonder if I wait just a bit, maybe so. And just then, two SUVs <laughs> pull into the lot, each full of people. Adults, mind you. <laughs> okay. You think Pokemon Go is a kid's game? Nope. I see people close to my age range playing this game way more than children, okay? Kids are casual. To be fair, it's because, yeah, because kids can't really go off on their own and go to, like, all the different raids because, you know, they're kids. Whereas, like, you know, adults can. So that's why you mostly see, like, adults playing the game because they're allowed to go out whenever they want. Kids don't have that luxury. Because they have curfews and exactly. don't have their driver's license. Exactly. So this squad parks beside me, surrounds me actually, because you can't reach the gym otherwise. And they're <laughs> obviously not here to play on the swings or play hopscotch. Yeah, you know it. Okay, but they're definitely here to raid too. I check the raid status and there's like nine people in the queue, so I hop my level 25 ass in there with them. <laughs> all instinct, all level 40. My I attack. wish, bro, I'm instinct, and, like, my area, there's literally, like, two other people that are yellow. Everyone else is blue and red. And if I saw a lobby full of instinct, then that would be, like, the Christmas had come early for me, but I don't think that's ever happened for Only me. Only tickled at best, and I got carried <laughs> hard. But it's all good. I still got that Raikou. Hey, Thanks, cool it. bye. <laughs> Playing late at night did lead to some scary moments. Claire and I went to claim a nearby gym one night to collect some coins. When you defeat a rival gym, you can the then hold is like, it, it. It's like, it's such a good animator because it's just like, it's normal animation and then he just pulls out a Charizard doing a massive roundhouse kick and it's just gym crazy animation. Pokemon and for every 10 minutes that they defend that location, you earn one coin. Yeah, you for do. For a maximum of 50 a day, mm. which equals to about 50 cents, which is enough to afford nothing in the shop so you can see why we're out at night like vultures trying to secure our spots mm, sure i have a job and i can just use real money to buy in-game coins and Could pay do. to win but for the competition of being able to deny those free 50 coins from other players i gotta play that game i'm sorry hey, I people gotta... do that like i say that's originally why i stopped playing because the people in my area as soon as the gym is taken by someone else that they just get like the meerkats they just shoot up and be like nope got to take that gym back i've had it before where i've literally taken a gym and then like like 10 minutes later it's just already been taken and it's just like i can't be bothered and it would happen so much in this area where i just would stop playing it because it was just it got so bad whereas nobody like they knew that i would just put my coin like my money in, and they'd be like nah he's getting no coins so i just stopped playing gotta play Anyway, we just finished beating the gym and we're about to put our tanky boys in when all of a sudden uh -oh. two cars pull into the lot. Oh, not no. the same ones from earlier. And my dumbass first thought was, oh shit, I hope they're not here to take our gym. You're probably playing too much Pokemon Go if you're hoping people who go to the park at night are there to deal drugs and not to deny you your opportunity to earn in-game currency. It's true. I mean, I, I guess drug dealers can play Pokemon Go too. But no, they were mm. definitely not here to play Pokemon Go. That's they right, step then. out of their cars and walk towards each other and start talking. I can't make out what they're saying, but one guy had a flashlight and he was pointing it rather aggressively Wait, towards what? my car as if we weren't part of the agreement of their meeting or something. Hey, who's this, huh? I thought I told you to come alone. This is why. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> they're not with me. Is my assumption of their conversation. And after a few minutes of this, they both get into one of the cars and drive out of the lot, leaving the other car behind. My first instinctual thought, there's a dead body in there. Let's get the f*** out of here. <laughs> so we also pull out of the lot and drive off. But as we're leaving the park, I realize that they didn't entirely leave and were just idling down the road. I drive the other way, and they start following us. Oh, no. All right, well, now I can't head straight home or else what they'll know this? where we live. This is, I was going to be watching a video on Pokemon Go. This is like a horror story. They murder us for being witnesses, so I'm just going to drive aimlessly in whatever direction, and maybe they'll leave us alone. They eventually turn at an intersection and stop following us. Wow, that, that was kind of freaky. So how's our tanky boys doing? <laughs> for the next couple of days, the car that they left behind was still there. 
What I found out, and I don't know if this is true, but apparently your car won't get towed if there's no license plate on it, which the car didn't have. Right. My assumption is that whoever's car it was was probably visiting their friend and had nowhere to park, Maybe so they stole thought the this car loophole could work. I don't know if they got ticketed, but they definitely didn't get towed because that car was there for at least a week. I don't know how long Pokemon Go is going to be hype for me, but I do really want to make my board game cafe become a Pokestop. And sadly, it seems like nominations are unavailable for my area, but if anyone has any hookups, yeah, let me know. Hit him with it. What would you look at the time? It's Vulture O'Clock, and that gym looks pretty decayed. Alright, see ya! That was a good video. Man, that was mad. Like, that was legit, like, <laughs> that story in the between of God, I don't be... I'd be terrified, man, if they were just following me at like late at night. That'd be really, really scary. Damn, man. That was a good video, though. Of course, though, if you did enjoy it, make sure to go check it out. Uh, it's going to be linked in the description down below as well as his channel. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Let's try and hit five, uh, 300 likes. Uh, drop a comment as well. Like I say, anything else you want me to react to and subscribe if you are brand new. We do go live with Pokemon content on this channel every day. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time. Peace.